Family Resources is your link to recycling. Paths for biking, trails for hiking, child care, street repair, volleyball, city hall, dog runs for dog walkers, support groups for need to talkers. Are there any services available for the unhoused in Palo Alto? Where could I find a center where I could meet people my own age? I like to speak English better. Are there any English classes? My daughter loves theater. Is there any place she can perform? These dogs have too much energy! I need a place where I can walk them! You have reached Micro Macrotronics customer service. Hold time is approximately 57 minutes. In today's world, the desire for community and connection is as strong as ever. But social and technological change have frequently promoted isolation instead. In spite of increasing cultural sophistication, families of all strata have similar needs for support and services to sustain healthy lifestyles. Within Palo Alto is a vast array of services that meet family needs and support their well-being. But how can you find those services? Palo Alto has a valuable link to bring the residents and the services together while building the personal connections that promote a sense of belonging and community. Family Resources, this is Amy. Family Resources. It's a nonprofit, city run organization that provides information about resources in the most efficient and user friendly way possible. And they also have a hotline. It does this with four different but integrated approaches a website with an extensive database, kiosks or hard copy displays of resources, trained individuals known as ambassadors who take information and connections into their particular communities, and the hub, a place where you can browse resource materials or speak directly with a resource specialist. Where can I find good childcare? Where can I take my granddaughter when she comes to visit? Where can I take an art class? Is there a clinic in Palo Alto that serves the nun Insured. We just moved into the area. We'd like to know where we need to go to register Amy for school. Please continue to hold and someone will be with you shortly. Hold time is approximately one hour and 32 minutes. Former Mayor Liz Niss introduced the concept of family resources in her State of the City address during Palo Alto's centennial year. The program was launched in 2000 Former Mayor Liz Niss. Um, more than 10 years ago when we anticipated a family resources center or something of that nature, what we needed to do was try to think ahead and try to think how could we keep this a high touch organization as well as a high tech. We are very, very, um, I'd say whole, holistic in that approach. It's not just a website or a, a, a kiosk, it's all three components, and that's very unusual. The foundation for family resources is the ever-current information available on the website in response to the community's express interest in better and more convenient resource information. Accessible to all, around the clock, it contains reliable information about more than 600 resources, which are updated annually. But extensive information is only helpful if you can navigate it with ease, and that's a priority for family resources. We've got search by keywords, by target groups, by the name of the organization that you're looking for, by any word that you might want to type in, and by searching through a drill down of service descriptions, because you might not know exactly what it is you need, you might just know the general area that you want to look in. On both the website and the kiosks, the resources are organized into eight categories of services, emergency or crisis, basic needs, child care, community resources, disability resources, education, health care, mental health and counseling. Federal Computer Week featured family resources as one of 10 websites that were identified by experts in and out of internet and government as a site to watch in the future. But not everyone has access to the internet at home, so Family Resources collaborates with sites in the community where people can access information on the web such as libraries and other service centers. For those not into technology, a more traditional format is the desktop kiosk, a hard copy display of selected resources from the website. 
Kiosks have been requested and placed in more than 80 locations throughout town, such as schools, libraries, childcare facilities, and community centers. Each is supported by knowledgeable staff and a family resources ambassador who can assist in its use. Oh my gosh. And the website has even more. You just couldn't all fit it all in here. Oh, this is great. So, I've never seen this before. Oh, good. Perhaps the most innovative creation of family resources is also the most down home and grassroots. Where will we go to getting that help? The Ambassador Development Program uses old fashioned person to person information sharing, which really gets to the heart of that community spirit we all long for. An ambassador is anyone who lives or works in the community and is in a position to be able to be helpful to people who may need resources for their families. There's no question in my mind that the Ambassador Program helps me personally as well as other people connect with other individuals in the community who are involved and who wish to be involved. It's a great resource for opening doors, it's a great resource for opening one's mind to what goes on in the city, and it's a great resource for just a great enjoyment of life through the knowledge of some very interesting people. The Ambassador Development Program has also received recognition from outside of this community. The first five commission for Santa Clara County named the Ambassador Development Program as a priority strategy and recommended that it be replicated in all of the cities of Santa Clara County. There's also a place, the hub, where family resource activities are organized and sustained. It's located in the city's human services offices at the Cubberley Community Center. I'm having a problem with my landlord and... There's a comfortable reading and conversation area where you can browse resource materials or speak to trained resource specialists. They will also prompt you on what rights you have as a tenant. The National League of Cities recognizes the Family Resources Program as a whole and identified it as a best practice for connecting families to community resources. Perhaps most important are the abundant expressions of gratitude from the users of Family Resources. We refer parents to it all the time for resources relating to housing, child care, and hunger. It's really a fabulous resource and an excellent tool for our parents and our students. I told her about the Family Resources website. She was so grateful and appreciative that she came to the office after her move to tell me in person. The resource information available on the website helped her to find affordable housing and resolve other needs. They're so excited about the kiosk and they've been copying information for their own use and in their senior living homes. I found the website clear and helpful and I'm not a computer person. The Ambassador Development Program helped me to get grounded in the Palo Alto community. In my opinion, this program is more than a resource. It's more like a community asset. The website directed me to this great program for children. I'm so happy I found it. I found a wonderful senior center. I found a children's theater, and my daughter is performing tonight. I found English classes. It's been great. We found everything we needed to know all about the Palo Alto schools right here at the district office. We came here, and we found a great, excellent place with our granddaughter to come here with a zoo and a playground. It's really marvelous here around. I found a new place that is trying to serve the unhoused. I found my art class. Palo Alto has this wonderful clinic that serves the uninsured and non-English speaking people. I found my dog walk. All these answers were found on the Family Resources website, at the kiosks, from an ambassador, or with a phone call to Family Resources. I'm so sorry that you've had so much trouble. I can get you a direct number to the person you need. Thanks so much. You've been really helpful. You can call Family Resources, your link to the community, by dialing 650-329-2221. The Junior Museum, the people next door, emergency services, all this and much, much more. It's all here right on our website. You can rock the house when you click that mouse. Be a paragon, come on.